Good day, good day, great 12s. This is video number three of momentum and impulse. That is Newton's second law in terms of momentum. Remember we said momentum is the product of mass and the velocity of an object. Number two, we said momentum is a vector quantity. It has the magnitude and the direction. And the SI units for the momentum is kg u kg meters per second okay uh, newton's second law states that when the net force acts on an object the object will accelerate in the direction of the net force with acceleration that is directly proportional to the force and inversely proportional to the mass of an object but now we are on Newton's second law in terms of momentum. The Newton's second law in terms of momentum uh, is defined as the net force acting on an object is equal to the rate of change in momentum. Okay. Uh, Newton's second law have the formula which is F net. F net, F net, F net, F net is equal to is equal to M A, right? And you, you know that acceleration is the rate of change in velocity, meaning that its final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time that is the rate of change in velocity the rate of change in what in velocity the rate of change in velocity how to add the rate of change in velocity which means we divide by time oh we divide by time okay now we have acceleration this is the formula for the acceleration okay so we can put M here then in place of acceleration we write the rate of change in what in velocity rate of change in velocity that is F net so if you open brackets you have mass times V remember mass times V momentum is equal to the mass times the velocity right so m times v will be the momentum then we have that change which means mass times v is the change in what in velocity oh is the change in momentum not velocity m times v is momentum then we have change in what in momentum over what over time that is newton's second law in terms of momentum which says the net force acting on an object is equal to the rate of change in momentum. Okay, let's go to example number one. This is example number one. A 5 kg model rocket is launched from rest. From rest, this is very important and reaches the velocity of 12 meters per second in three seconds okay this is as a result of upward force of an exhaust gas calculate the change in momentum of the rocket Cal calculate the force experienced by the rocket okay the first thing is to check the mass. We don't have a mass, or so here is a mass. The mass is in kgs. Perfect. Then the velocity is in meters per second. That is perfect also. This is correct. This one is correct. Uh, the time must always be in second. Perfect. The time must be in second. Now, let's see. If you are given the time in minutes so you just say let's say you are given 10 minutes 10 minutes 
you just multiply by 60 then you get 600 seconds okay so if you are given the time in hours let's say you are given 10 hours so you multiply by 60 then another 60 then you get 36 and 36,000 second if I'm not mistaken all right now let's go straight to the question which says calculate the change in momentum the change in momentum is momentum final minus momentum initial the change in momentum is equal to momentum final minus momentum initial but we have the speed and the mass so we need to change this one to the momentum formula which is p is equal to mv so which means we have the mass times final velocity minus the mass times initial velocity okay so we can substitute now the mass is 5 kgs 5 kgs times the final they said the rocket is launched from rest this is our initial velocity rest which means zero to reach and reaches a velocity of which means this one is a final velocity of 12 upwards take up as positive i forget that upward must be positive which means downwards would be negative all right so the final velocity is positive 12 positive 12 minus the mass is still that 5 kg times the initial velocity rest from rest that is zero so we have we have 12 times 5 which is equal to 60 kg meters per second upwards which is positive right upwards that is the change in momentum then the following question says calculate the force experienced by the rocket Newton's second law in terms of momentum and uh, what I did so we are here on example number one Newton's second law in in terms of momentum says the net force acting on an object is equal to the rate of change in momentum so change in momentum over the time right okay so we are looking for the force the change in momentum is 60 then the time is 3 then we get the net force which is equal to which is equal to 20 20 newtons that is upward that is example number one example number two a car 800 kgs moves east 25 meters per second a braking force applied by the brakes as well as a frictional force decreases the velocity of the speed to 10 so we have the initial velocity this is the initial velocity with the direction then we have the mass then we have the final velocity to okay uh, within six seconds 
so the the mass of a car is in kgs correct the speed here is meters per second correct the speed here meters per second correct the time is in second okay so this is the first velocity that is the initial velocity this is the final velocity in the same direction then the question says calculate the change in momentum so change in momentum is equal to momentum final minus momentum initial so since we have a mass we can change it to mvf minus mvi okay so let's substitute the mass is 800 kgs the final velocity is 10 same direction everything is positive minus mass is that 800 kgs the initial velocity is 25 okay then we press the calculator to get the answer so the answer is minus 12 12,000 kg meters per second since the answer is negative which means is opposing the the motion so since we said the direction of the motion is east which means this one is west so the change in momentum is 12,000 kg meters per second negative west right then the following question question number two says calculate the net or the force exerted on the car remember they said there is a braking force applied by the brakes as well as a frictional force so we are looking for the total force acting there that is the net force so the net force is equal to change in momentum over the time okay we have the change in momentum with that negative and the time so we have minus 12 thousand divided by the time is six seconds divided by six then we get the net force which is minus two thousand newtons then this negative uh, tells us the direction so it's two thousand newtons west because it is positive that is example number two uh, thank you for watching the video don't forget to subscribe let's go to the next video that is the conservation of linear momentum thank you